Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you guys what I picked up this weekend at the Renegade Craft Fair. The Renegade Craft Fair is a touring show. It's a show that goes to several different cities and they focus on featuring local vendors. Local vendors for jewelry, home goods, art, decor, pet products, clothing, pretty much everything. And it's really cool because you can see products that are limited edition, limited quantity, really artisanal crafted goods that you can't find anywhere else. And sometimes they're one of a kind pieces. So when you go, bring cash, bring your credit card because you never know what you're gonna find and there's some really good deals to be found. So while you might not be able to get some of these items, a lot of these people sell online um, and you might be able to find similar styles because like I mentioned, you might be able to get some stuff, but then again, some stuff is limited edition, so you might be able to get a different color, different texture, different scent. Um, so I have quite a few things to show you and I'm very excited and I'm waving my arms everywhere because it's really cool and if they stop in your city or a local city, you should definitely make a point to go there. San Francisco, they come twice a year. They come in once in the summer and then once in the winter. This last weekend, the show was really close in my neighborhood, so I dropped by and I spent a pretty penny, but I got a lot of cool stuff that's really unique and really fun and really awesome. So let's dive right in and I'll show you what I got. I want to show you some jewelry things I got first. And the first store I want to talk to you guys about is Plastique Shop. And they're based out of San Francisco. They have really cool laser cut jewelry. So really cool pieces. They had this one that's a hashtag. Really cute. That's on this like gunmetal black chain. Really cute. Really nerdy pieces. They have like stuff for cities, stuff like hearts, diamonds, turntables. Command Z, Helvetica, they had all kinds of really cool designs. Definitely check them out, really good pricing too. This piece was $18. It was a little bit cheaper at the show, but I think you might save a couple bucks buying it there versus online. Really neat stuff, definitely check out Plastic Shop, really cool stuff. I this is one of the few vendors that I want to buy everything at, like I had to hold back. So I will definitely be making another purchase from these guys soon. Really, really cute stuff. So actually my very first purchase of the day was kind of an expensive one, but I love this necklace. It is just so unique and it's by the designer Molly Rose Post Jewelry. She's actually based out of New York, so she travels a lot to showcase her jewelry, but all of her pieces are available online. And this is one of her newest ones. It is this beautiful, I forget the name, but it's basically a sunburst style necklace. And it's hung on what she calls a barley chain. Here's the pendant right here. It is a textured antique gold that has like tiny, tiny little like stripes in it. And she casts this all herself. She uses a scalpel type tool to carve out the wax mold and just produces this beautiful, beautiful sunburst pendant. I don't think my camera is gonna focus on this because I messed up the autofocus setting, but here's the necklace right here. You know, it sits right about there. And it's just so beautiful and so unique. I cannot wait to wear this and style this on my blog. She also said that the barley links on the chain are soldered in, so it's never going to fall apart or break. And that made me feel a lot more confident when I'm buying a $50 necklace from a store I've never purchased from before. So I'm really impressed with the quality, attention to detail and craftsmanship that's in this necklace and this piece and all her stuff. She had matching earrings for this and then she had all kinds of other different styles if you're not really into this kind of like antique look she had all kinds of gems all kinds of crystals classic pieces funky pieces you name it so her website is mollyrosepost.com if you want to check her out and this piece was fifty dollars next up we're going to talk about some home products and i got these two candles at a vendor called small guns and they have handcrafted scented candles and they come with really cool messages on the fronts of them. So this one is uh, tuberose and this, the label says frolics naked and this scent is bergamot and it says rise and shine. So I got these two scents because, you know, tuberose is a floral scent but it's not too flowery and like crazy scented. Bergamot is a bright citrusy and rousing kind of scent. It is, you know, if you like Earl Grey tea, that's what bergamot smells like and this is a very nice scented candle that, you know, I think is not too girly and not too sweet that, you know, if you want a more gender neutral scent, bergamot is a fantastic one to go with. These were two for 40 and they're made from a soy blend wax. 
Their website is smallguns.com with two N's and you'll get 20% off if you use the promo code RENEGADESF and I'll link that down in the description box. Next up is a totally wacky piece that I feel ridiculous for spending this much money on, but you know what, I didn't think of it, so I had to get it, and it's this dinosaur terrarium. Can we just look at this guy? I mean, okay, so my boyfriend and I are obsessed with Jurassic Park, and I saw this little guy and I couldn't say no. So he's got a little plant in the back of him, we put some water in him and put him by the window. And this vendor had all kinds of cool hanging terrariums, but I don't really have anywhere in my apartment to hang stuff because I don't really want to do any permanent fixtures in the ceiling. So I saw this guy and he could stand on his own. It's perfect, it's fun, it's funky, and <laughs> it's just genius, I love it. So their, um, their company is called Urban Anonymous. It's urbananonymous.com. They have all kinds of cool terrariums and they're offering 25% off any one regular price item. Use the promo code HOLIDAY2013 and I'll link their info down below. Last up, I got two art pieces that I'm just obsessed with. The first one is by Drywell Art. It is a print that is of a Negroni cocktail. And if you know me personally, this is one of my favorite classic cocktails to order if I'm going to like a fancy bar or fancy night out. I just love Negronis. It's kind of a bitter cocktail. It is two parts Campari, one part gin, one part sweet vermouth, and lastly you'll have a, you know a slice of orange or a splash of orange or some orange zest in it. And it's perfect, it's really delicious, and you know, drink responsibly only if you're of age. I'm definitely of age, so I wanted to hang this up maybe in my kitchen somewhere, get it nice and framed, and it's really fun. This vendor had so many awesome prints, but a lot of them were sold out by the time I went on Sunday, so definitely check them out online. Their website is shop.drywellart.com, and I'll have them linked below. And the last thing I got at the Renegade Craft Fair is this print by Yellow House Handmade, and it's a California print that's in a frame. These were one for $12 or two for $20, and they were all California prints. They had different, you know designs but I love the hot pink with like this kind of gold metallic chevron ha herringbone kind of design on it it's really cute really chic and it's ready to hang and prop up sorry I haven't taken it out of the plastic wrap but I thought this was really cute a really good deal it makes a great gift item for a friend if you know a housewarming gift or you know when you get to a certain age you really start to appreciate art as gifts and like home decor like Stuff's expensive and it's hard to find and kind of curate your own art. So I love like, collecting art, you know. I'm starting to build my collection. So love this piece. It's really cute. I'll have their website linked below if you're interested in this kind of artwork. They had so many cute designs and really cool like papery stationery type stuff like cards, note cards. I'll have them linked in the description box. I really encourage you to check out some of these indie brands because you're supporting small business, you're shopping local, and you're helping people, you know, earn an honest living. I think it's really cool because, you know, when friends come over or you're getting people gifts, they're really going to think like, hey, you took some time to like think about what I like and you went to somewhere like unconventional to shop. So, so that's it for my haul. I hope you guys liked it. I'll have, again, more information on Renegade Craft Fair and the cities they're coming to linked in the description box. And yeah, I hope you check it out if it's touring a city near you. Thank you guys so much for watching my haul and I'll see you very soon in my next video.